please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. My name is Bridget Archbold. Today kicks off the start of Spirit Week and the halls are filled with color. Monday's theme is Class Color Day. Freshmen are green, sophomores are yellow, juniors are red, and seniors are Viking blue. We have all that and so much more because GTV News starts right now. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Rebecca Spazzano, and here are your morning announcements for Monday, September 19th, 2022. It's homecoming week, which means showing off Viking spirit every day. As you can see, I have my senior Viking blue on, and as Bridget mentioned, it's class color day, so hopefully you're wearing the color of your grade. Tomorrow will be grout fit day, so be sure to wear as much gray as you can. Paint the Town was a total success yesterday. There was a record number of participants. Great job to everyone who came out. Our downtown street windows have never looked better. And a reminder that all students have a shortened schedule today because of the in-school homecoming pep rally. You will be dismissed from 10th hour at 1.55 p.m. and the pep rally will go until 2.45 p.m. When you get there, find your class's seating section and cheer loudly for all performances to help your class win. We hope you flood the stands with your class colors. Now the pep rally and spirit days are just some aspects of homecoming week, but there is so much more. Mackenzie Benedict has more from a student council board member to tell us more about what they have planned for the school. Thank you, and I'm here with Mora from student council to talk about homecoming week. So Mora, what was Paint the Town like yesterday? So yesterday we had all of our sports teams and clubs come out to paint State Street, all the windows, and we had a great turnout and downtown looks great. Sounds very fun. Now what are the themes for the rest of the week? So today's class colors, so every class should be wearing their class color. A lot of people have their homecoming shirts. Freshmen should be wearing green, sophomores should be wearing yellow, juniors should be wearing red, and seniors should be wearing blue from head to toe. And what are the themes for the rest of the week? So tomorrow we have grout fit, so make sure you're wearing all gray. Wednesday's gonna be neon day, so wear your brightest colors. Thursday's Adam Sandler day, so make sure you wear super baggy clothes. If you need a reference, you could always look up Adam Sandler's outfits to get a better idea. And then Friday is gonna be wearing Viking Spirit, so wear blue or any Geneva gear you have. Sounds great, and what are the activities for the rest of the week? So Monday, we're gonna have our in-school pep rally, which is basically just a bunch of mini games and class competitions. That night, we're gonna have Powder Puff, which is the girls' flag football game, so make sure everyone comes out and supports the girls. And then Thursday is Blue and White Night, where we're gonna have more mini games and senior awards, and then after, we'll follow a bonfire, which everybody should attend. Friday, we're gonna have our homecoming parade, and that night is the homecoming football game, so make sure everyone turns out for that. Can you tell us a little bit more about the dance on Saturday? So the dance is Candyland themed. We're gonna have the school super decorated, there's gonna be food and drinks, and it should be great. Sounds really exciting. Now, how can students get involved this week? So to make sure everyone is involved, everyone should be coming to all the events. They're super fun, super spirited. Um, it's always an amazing time. It's our first week, it's our first homecoming actual week in a while, so we're hoping for a great turnout. Sounds like this week's gonna be great. And thank you for coming, yeah, Maura. No Back to the desk. Thanks, Kenzie. And don't forget the homecoming dance is approaching fast. It will be on Saturday, September 24th, but make sure to buy your ticket by Friday the 23rd. There will be no in-person ticket sales. You can find the link to buy tickets online in your school email. Also, if you're bringing a guest to the dance, make sure you turn in your guest pass by Thursday, September 22nd. Not only is it homecoming week, it is also Band Book Week. Band Book Week celebrates the freedom to read and spotlights current and historical attempts to censor books in libraries and schools. Come down to the library and check out the display to learn more about it. National Technical Honor Society is open for applications. It is for students pursuing careers in the fields of business, FCS, or tech ed. If you are a junior or senior who has taken several classes in CTE, scan the QR code to learn more about the requirements to join. And now for a look at today's weather, we have a high of 82 degrees and a low of 63 degrees. And taking a look ahead at tomorrow's weather, we're going to have a high of 86 degrees along with a low of 69 degrees. And now here's three to know before we go. 
This Thursday, there is a required PLC for sophomore, sophomore wellness, so everyone that did not go last week will have it this week. Be sure to stop by the Social Studies Honor Society table at lunch to register to vote if you're 18 years old or will turn 18 by November 8th. And Western Avenue is looking for volunteers for their annual clothing sale on September 30th and October 1st. Check your email to sign up. Well, Geneva, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Rebecca Spazano. Have a marvelous Monday to kick off this homecoming week.